Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore, where we play our hunter and pretty much complain how weak hunters are. <laughs> no, I'm just chickening, dude. Like, hunters is pretty good. It's just, I'm weak in the panty. That's it. We're gonna do our bad jump here now. Like, I'm not a big fan of this jump. It is uh, not an easy thing to do. I remember struggling with this for like 20 minutes before I got it right. We are level 16 now. Uh, the game is uh, telling us to get to all the way up here. And we're going to travel to the Night Elf area. We're probably going to train bows as well now because I think it's kind of needed. We're going to climb a mountain here that is like... Not very fun to deal with. Uh, we also have mail from the auction house. So I have to go check that out also. That would be great. It doesn't show the exact location on the map for some reason. But it is over here somewhere. I'll just have to watch the video again. Maybe on classic you could just like walk over. Yeah, it looks like it's this place. Somewhere. Uh, let me watch the video. Goodness. It's over here. This really sucks, dude. But you need to just jump in a zigzag motion over here. Uh. There we go. First try, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right. He still runs faster than me. So I need to make it slower. Okay, it's going this way. So we're just climbing over this mountain now. Okay, now he's a bit too slow.
Okay, so run up here. Make him a little bit faster again. I didn't see where he went to. Okay. Okay, now the speed seems to be perfect. We could just follow along. Uh. But he turned right. Oh, there's Paris. Level 5. Oh shit. <gasps> oh, dude. Don't even have a first head on us. It keeps going down here. Right? Oof, dude, we almost died to full damage. And I don't have I can I can eat. Okay, dude, I can't believe we we're actually seeing some stuff here. I think it was potentially stuff that was supposed to be in the game at some point, but they decided to scrape it. Oh, 
Almost ready for dead mines. Uh, no, WC is Wailing Caverns. Okay. Okay, we made the skip. We just have to wait for them to be further away. Especially the first crocodile. And we did it. Nice. Skip, well done, dude. Buy a bronze tube. Why do you want me so much to get a bronze tube, dude? <laughs> Just wants me to buy bronze tubes. You need some milk? to you he also doesn't have bronze tube man <laughs> 10 slot bag is too gold are you kidding me my brie have a good one okay, well at least we know now where to buy bullets in this area wait what the heck Alright, so buy as many healing potions that is, that are available. Uh we have mail, right? Oh my goodness. So much than sell. I'll grab it once we get to an auction house. Looking for something specific? Have a good one. I'm sure we can sell this for a pretty penny. Well, more than three silver. Okay, so get the wetlands flight path. Where would you like to fly to? Uh, I don't need a weapon. We can check it out.
Hi. It doesn't do more DPS. Good. Safe travels. Buy as many healing potions again. Did our boat is here, man. Now I just left. Oh my goodness. Maximum wait time. Enabled. What brings you here? He doesn't sell any healing potions. Go in peace. The boat literally just left. <laughs> it's okay, we'll have to wait. It's fine. All right. Okay, the uh, boat finally arrived. I bought this from the auction house and the weapon I got from a quest. Must be nice having a, a good bow and a gun. Oh, sorry, a gun and a weapon. Still blocked. Or it's not my fault if you don't know how to use the auction house, like honestly. We gotta feed our pet again. For sure, hunter party. <laughs> look at that. Aspect of the cheetah, look at that. So we're going to have that movement speed, which is half as fast as a mount. And we'll, we'll be the only class that have it, which is insane. I think it's as fast as a, as a rogue sprint. It's 50% movement speed increase. Forever. Oh, it's 30%. Yeah, like I, I want to go train bows or so. May Alun walk with you, adventurer. The Temple of the Moon has come to help the troubled citizens of Oberdeen. Majestic sea creatures are known to launch themselves at the Darkshore coastline, beached there until they die. 
Lately, these beasts have been washing ashore in ever-increasing numbers. I've been sent here by the Temple of the Moon to investigate, but the presence of murlocs along the water has made my research difficult. There is a giant creature washed ashore just south of Aberdeen that is ringed by the foul gray mist murlocs. Could you go there and retrieve bones from the creature for our study? Hey! Help me with my latest invention, the buzz box! You can talk to people far away! Maybe you've already seen them! They're boxes with levers on them! The only problem is they need constant maintenance. Each one suffers from a different problem, but I made a really smart decision. I placed each one near creatures that have the proper parts to fix that particular machine. Right now, Buzzbox 827 is on the Fritz. It's just south of Aberdeen, real close. It takes six crawler legs to fix it. I'll pay you. A sickness spreads across the dark shore, gripping the minds and bodies of all it touches. The thistle bears have been hit the hardest by this plague. The once noble beasts are now an instrument of destruction, rabid and frenzied. I may have a cure for this ailment. Take this trap to the forest and lay it on the ground. Any rabid thistle bear that crosses the light shall become docile for a short time. Once the bear is docile, it shall follow you. Lead it back here, adventurer. Some of my brethren were rescued from a corrupt furbog in Teldrassil, and I vowed to stop any more atrocities before more of our kind are injured. Or worse. I've seen a couple hints of corruption in Darkshore already, but I've yet to find any widespread signs. I think it would be logical if the investigation continued with the furbogs. Would you find one of their camps and return to me if you see any signs of corruption? I think this weapon is from Hogger, if I'm not mistaken. The Hogger quest. It's weird that we're doing quests that we don't even get experience for killing them for. We don't need the cats. We just have to get close to this camp. I think I just need... Uh, Another add-on called Tommy Wen. Or just need a a weak aura that shows poison on the target. Should be fairly easy. Like I usually make my own stuff, but right now I'm just thinking of collecting. Okay, uh...
Item was not found. There we go. Any cloth and joyous that's level 10 in Goldshire, I have a gift. You, you. Oh, okay. It's a hunter you don't really need first aid, I guess. For me, like, first aid is pretty important, regardless of the class. Uh, what is it add-on called? Uh, there's actually an add-on that shows you what abilities people have or uh, stuff have. Peace be with you. I hope the Murloc did not give you much trouble in collecting this for us. I will be sure to get this on the next hippogriff to Darnassus. The Temple of the Moon has given me some funds to hand out for assistance. Please have some with our thanks. Your success here emboldens me to offer you a chance to aid the Temple of the Moon further, if you are interested. That beached creature is not an isolated incident here in Darkshore. There are more along the coastline and even in the water. I would like for you to investigate another one that we know of. This one was reported to be in the water due west of Oberdeen, close to a sunken vessel. Return to me with anything that you may recover that would aid our research. Also, in your travels you may find other creatures. By all means, if you should discover anything, then please bring it to our attention. In the aftermath of the battles at the Well of Eternity, I heard that Amatharan had been destroyed, its people dead, including my love, Anaya. I would never have thought, thousands of years later, that memories of Anaya would still haunt my dreams. Wandering the woods of Darkshore in a stupor, I found myself in the ruins of Ameth Aran, where I saw the haunted spirit of my beloved. She must be freed, but I lack the heart to do it. Her spirit must be destroyed. Where's the bear now? I hate underwater quests for multiple reasons. Number one, if you disconnect, what then? You know, it's just game over. Oh, there's our bear. Hello, baby. Come on, bears can swim. Right. Don't drown our bear. That would not be cool, me. So let's go. Hmm. 
Well, did I need one more eye? What the heck? Get it. Imagine your boar also had breath or your pet. Still getting ruined scraps. That sucks, dude. Level 14. And still getting scraps. Greetings. You've been a tremendous help here today. You in town? We now have a solid chance at unlocking the mystery of why these creatures choose to beach themselves on the coast of Darkshore. The idea that they might be fleeing the area around Teldrassil is disturbing. Should you come across others in your travels, please let me know. Our research here is but in its infancy. On behalf of the Temple of the Moon, Please accept this as thanks for the effort you have given. Thank you, adventurer. Hostile moonkin roam in ever-increasing numbers to our east. They once were thought to be gentle, almost mystical creatures. While some continue to hold reverence for them, the safety of Oberdeen forces me to keep a more realistic view. I've received reports that moonkin are being drawn to a large red crystal along Darkshore's eastern mountain range. No one has any idea what that crystal is, or even if it really exists. I want you to locate it over there and report back to me what you find. Our work has only just begun, adventurer. Are you prepared for your next task? As I had feared, the cure does not work. It saddens me greatly to order the death of any of nature's beasts, but the sick and tainted thistle bears must be put down. Return to the forest and destroy 20 rabid thistle bears, adventurer. It will most certainly not put a stop to the plague, but it will slow down the damage the animals are doing to our forest and its inhabitants for a short time. This is terrible news indeed, adventurer. With the fur bogs this close to Aberdeen, we will have to prepare ourselves for the inevitable. Thank you, adventurer. You've already proven adept at scouting our enemy, adventurer. Do you have what it takes to fight them as well? Not all adventurers prefer straightforward combat to the art of stealth and evasion. If you think you're up for the task, then the Furball camp south of Aberdeen is currently the biggest threat to our people. You'll find some of the Blackwood tribe there. Kill eight Pathfinders and five Wind Talkers and return to me here. Your scouting of the Furbog camp is information that Thundrous Windweaver should be made aware of. 
He graciously serves as the elder of Aberdeen, offering sage and just stewardship of the day-to-day -day affairs of the village. Please, share with him your findings to date on the Furbolg situation. I believe he has some ideas of his own on the reasons behind their corruption. Perhaps you can work with him to enact a plan to restore the balance of nature here. Off the coast of Darkshore to our north are two wrecked ships, the Silver Dawning and the Mist Vale. Some time ago, both ships ran afoul of the blasted Murlocs as they sailed across the vast sea into Oberdeen. They now lie at the bottom of the ocean as trophies for those fiends. Both captains didn't make it out that night, and their logs and other effects are still below in lockboxes. I'd like for you to recover them for us. It would mean a lot to the crew members still around these parts. Well met, adventurer. Your scouting of the Fur Bog situation comes at a fortuitous time for us in Aberdeen. For some time we have dealt with not only forest dwellers who are now openly hostile to our presence, but also the outright corruption of the forest itself. Hopefully you might be able to lend Aberdeen aid during these troubling times. The Cliff Spring River has begun turning foul and corrupted. It empties into the mist's edge, and I fear the wash will affect Aberdeen soon. I suspect the Blackwood Furbogs upriver are the cause of the taint, but I also suspect that they aren't the true root of it. Take this sampling tube and go to the mouth of the river to our north. Proceed inland to the first waterfall and draw a sample from the pool there. You'll see a bridge overhead. Once you have a sample, return to me in Aberdeen. The ruins of Bachelaren to the east are overrun with demonic minions. The sprites and satyrs that have taken up residence in the area feed upon the magical energies of the area, their powers growing from continued exposure. Even with that, I have noticed that there is one shrine they will not approach. On the western side of the ruins, atop a small bluff, a strange blue aura permeates. There must be an explanation to the demon's reluctance. I would like you to investigate it. Adventurer, a task I would ask of you. Have you seen the ruins of Ameth Aran? If not, you will find them on the eastern side of the main road, some ways to the south. Once they were the home of many powerful highborn. Now they are a testament to the destruction their dabblings produced. I've been told by the Sentinels that the spirits of the highborn persist and that they wield their ancient magical implements. Those relics must be appropriated, so that we might destroy them. All oh, right. Let us get inside. So much more luck, sir. I have to go breathe. It's kind of annoying, dude. Because, like, the way to get in here is pretty bad. care too much to loot them. That's the first bow done. It's my pet winning.
Still the close. The heal on each other is kind of insane also. see an entrance. There's one. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Oof. Do you have a potion? We do. Yeah, our pet died, but it's okay. Oof, bro. What a shitty quest. What a shitty quest indeed. I don't know if I'm going to switch to a scorpion pet at some point. I don't know what made the scorpion so broken in, in Season of Discovery. But you could only have one pet with poison in your, in your raid. Uh, because it, it, it can't trigger from two different uh, pets on the same target. It can only be one. There shall only be one.
And I, I think to get the value of the poison. Oh, there it is. It's not this bear. It's the level 16 bears. To get the value of the poison, you will need um, targets that will survive longer. So, like, I think in dungeons, um, cats would still more do more damage. Sitting here, we need strider meat. It's the one that I refuse to buy. Dude, we're doing a 67 crit already. I just remember in PvP, you send your pet off to someone, like literally anyone, and that pet would 1v1. <laughs> would 1v1 them so easily. By the way, that Strider meat was 22 silver each. And we have two already, which is great. There's a quest there they want us to take. Full.
Couldn't get close enough, unfortunately. We're gonna have so much issues with uh, inventory space right now. at some point it showed that I should uh, train this or, or take this quest that's a green uh, sword Just update, dude. Uh, okay, trade goods. My goodness. Dude, we can make a pretty penny for this. This is a really good uh, hunter weapon. Two agility, two stamina. Look what I just looted. You bastard. Dude, some of the junk is actually insanely valuable.
Bad door, dude. This is just becoming annoying. We need to we need to definitely get cooking done guys like this is just not okay whatever we have going on on here um It's definitely going to be worth the money, because inventory is just a problem. I can't do this on every kill, bro. And I think this is very valuable, this murloc, slimy murloc scale. And also, I want to skin them, right? So... Dude, can you please do what I tell you to do? By the way, Moonstalker is one of the best cats you get in the game. But there is Moonstalkers with the fastest attack speed, so you have to tame it and check if it's a fast one. If it's not, you tame again. A different one. Dismiss and tame again. We have something green there. I think it's a scroll. Tailoring. I'm fine leaving the scrap behind. What are we looking for here? Oh. I think we need to drop down and do that. Need to feed our, feed our pet again. Once we get to a main city, guys, we're gonna train cooking. Okay, I'm gonna spend all my gold, like I'm not even kidding. Get that cooking down so we can have an inventory again. Didn't I feed you? Maybe I can't feed him in water?
Because, like, cooking alone right now is taking up three scrolls in our bag. And look at all this meat we have. Well, most of it is meat. But I think we should just go and, and train. We need an inventory. We need to skin. We need to... Be able to collect more meat. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna hearth, dude. Reset that as a hearth now, I think. Reset this place as our hearth. We're gonna just PP back. We're going to just hand in this few quests. Uh, we're gonna go to the night elf area. We're gonna train bows. And uh, I think we'll just take it from there. Get this inventory sorted because I'm, I'm tired of this. Do our skinning also, or leatherworking. Just solve this issue we have here. Um, because, like, we're missing out on so much gold. Greetings, lass. If you're looking for the best deals you'll find outside of Ironforge itself, then you've come to the right place. You've done us here in Oberdeen a great service, lass. We'll make sure that their effects are properly taken care of. As for you, please have this. It is the least I can do for someone with the bravery to set things right. I am honored. It's no surprise how tainted this water is, but just look at how putrid it is becoming. It would seem that action is needed sooner than later, eh, adventurer? To our east is Fellwood. It is the real source of this corruption, one that I have seen in times past. I predict this sample will confirm this. We might be able to enact a cure for it here, but in order to even try, we will need assistance. When that time comes, adventurer, I hope you will be able to give the aid we need. Oh man, we're gonna have max wait time on the boat, dude. There's no way I make it on time. We're gonna have the shortest boat ride in, in the world, dude, because we made it. Yeah, okay, we're here. Um, I think I'll do this off recording because it's not gonna be very sexy. It's a lot of running around, checking um, whether we're on the lightest meat that we're on right now, which I think is bear meat. This one right here. Uh, the clam meat could also be the next thing. 
Um, but yeah, it's not going to be very sexy. Uh, we're just going to use the auction house. We're going to take the items also that didn't sell. I'll double check if they will sell and we'll just place them on the auction house again. Um, so it's going to be a lot of like running up and down and um, it's not going to be very sexy. Let's just say that. And it looks like the closest mailbox to the auction house is really far away. That can't be the case, I'm pretty sure. Our milk sold. few more cells. Okay, we'll train bows quickly. The grace with which I fight is not something I can teach you, but I can teach you the use of various weapons. Yeah, it looks like there is no mailbox close. That really sucks, dude. But yeah, this is not going to be sexy. I'll catch you guys once we're done uh, with training our stuff. I'll take a minute. You know, I'm actually on the boat now going to Iron Forge uh, because I know where to get alcohol. And I can actually make this, um, this meat a lot cheaper because this is like 26 copper in the auction house, but the others is a lot more expensive. These all all these are in the silver range. Uh, for the very first time ever in my whole life, I'm trying out feastables. I'm not a big fan of Mr. Beast anymore. I was always curious, like how it tastes. Right now I'm eating the milk crunch. And obviously no ticket inside, because that's just how life works. Thanks. May your generosity be returned to you 100-fold. And to be honest, it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. So... Just wanted to let you know. And just so you know, it's uh, 50, 50 copper for each, which is insane. Oh my goodness, we can actually make a pretty insane chest piece, dude. Plus four agility. <laughs> Yowza. That's insane. She. Would you like to purchase something? Yeah, we'll buy the stuff from the auction house. It's just four leather, one hide. I think the hide will be expensive, though. But yeah, we did our cooking now. Um, <clears throat> by the way, this worked great. Uh, this uh, beer uh, bastard boar ribs. These things was very, ex very, very cheap. Um, it went up like 400% next. Uh, so I stopped buying it. Uh, this is 50, cent uh, 50 copper worth. Um, and I bought a lot of it because... The overshoot that I have of it, I sell in the auction house for two silver each. So that's 4x if we can do it. Um, but yeah, so we're done with that. Let us do this. Uh, shopping. Oh, it's full silver, dude. 
We can't even buy. Thirteen stacks of one. Uh, so light leather. Oof, dude. We're getting wrecked. But we have a lot of stuff also selling on the auction house right now. And this chess piece will 100% be worth it. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep that 16, uh, 16 leather. I was considering running back to make more gloves. But nah. We can maybe just get a vendor. Uh, to buy this. But I'll catch you guys once we're back to our quests. Alright then, we're finally back, dude. <clears throat> With a better inventory. Uh, we can sell the chess piece. Another discovery. Well done, adventurer. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. Please accept this small honorarium in exchange for the remains you have provided for our study. I have heard of the kinds of carriages found on the back of the turtle you found. Those, I do believe, are Naga carriages, used both in battle and in transportation of their supplies onto land. The markings on the box you found are of the Naga. This would explain their invasive presence in far northern Darkshore. I will send this box to Darnassus along with the rest of your discoveries. This is for you. Thank you again for your assistance. Okay, so I think I sold all my meat, unfortunately. Hey there. What's on your mind? What hey, can good. I get for you today? How Safe travels. You? Off with you. What can I do? I just can't seem to get comfortable without a sturdy ceiling of granite over my head. All these stars up there, enough to give you the shivers. Hello there, my name's Jenna, and you? Greetings, lass. If you're looking for the best deals you'll find outside of Ironforge itself, then you've come to the right place. That would be 15. So we'll craft this. I I'm trying to look for bullets, but I just don't see any. And I would think that this is the place they would sell it. <laughs> but it's not. Safe travel. Uh, this linen robe was pretty silver, or uh, copper in the auction house. If you're looking for the best deals you'll find outside of Ironforge itself, then you've come to the right place. Okay, I'm done eating the feastables from Mr. Beast. Um, so my thoughts of the, the chocolate bar is that it's... It's nothing special. It's just double the price for the same, even smaller chocolate um it doesn't taste more special it doesn't like there's just a bigger brand behind it i guess and uh i don't think that is worth that mu much money so i think i would rather just you know stick with my normal normal chocolate um not that i eat much chocolate anyway but I still have another bar, which is the peanut butter one. I'll try it out next time, I guess. And now we can finally loot and skin. This could be a penny worth in the auction house.
Now we have 28 slots available. Now that we got rid of all that meat. And the thing is, though, even though I bought so much meat and, and did that, I could just sell the next batch of meat uh, if we don't need it. So it's not like I wasted money. It's that we just fixed our inventory. I feel like that's a better option. And fixing your inventory equals gold, right? Every time you loot stuff, you could just sell it for trash or whatever. And uh, you'll just make more gold that way. Where I'm just throwing out stuff the whole time out of my inventory. And I can't even... I, I, I can't even skin because our inventory is too full. <laughs> oh. What could I possibly owe the exceedingly special honor of a person such as yourself as company? Truly, it says much of my current companions, with no offense to my hosts, the noble Grells and Satyrs, that your presence could be considered an improvement. But please do not let my uncivil tongue drive you from the place. It has indeed been many years, decades even, since I had civil accompaniment. If I were to relate the story of my life, I have no doubt it would surpass the limits of your patience. Let us say that mine has been a long and painful life, and this spectral form is perhaps the worst torment of all. I am held here by the means of magic. Though my words may seem disingenuous, I assure you I would be grateful beyond words if you would help me find the means of my imprisonment. A seal binds me, and by examining the earpieces of the sprites and grells, I may find a trace of it. Yeah, we don't need this guy yet. Charge has a 30 second cooldown, dude. That's kind of insane. I definitely have to fix this UI, so we have a pet bar. Let me do that quickly. Yeah, we got a pet bar. It's now above my experience. So now we'll have way more control over our pet, because I don't know... Why didn't I have one? I feel like we just have to get a weak aura for our poison.
Okay, hand in this quest. Then we have to kill the other dudes in this area. Indeed. The Grells of Bashal Aran do not possess that which I am searching. However, they have come into contact with it recently. Recently. I would reckon that by your time, not mine. Recent for me stretches into the veil of the past, almost another age. If the Grells have come into close contact with the seal that binds my eternal prison, I suspect I know the cause. No doubt the seal has come into the possession of the satyr that beat them. I feel strongly that this must be true, adventurer. One of the satyr must surely possess it. If you can obtain it, you would bring me so close to passing the bars of my prison that tears would come to my eyes. Didn't get it still. Don't let him have it. Goodness, dude. These guys here should spawn now. I know there's two of them down here. What the heck, man? Where are they? Oh yeah, we leveled up. Get more armor. There's one more there. Still don't have it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Goodness, my buddy. We're taking this low drop chance to the next level right now. Have these guys spawned yet? There's a bear druid. They like to be called Bruits. <laughs> With a B. Imagine you could tame them, dude. You're mine now. Sorry. <laughs> This probably will be the only time I'll have a bear pet.
if that was the case. It, it is hard for me to even believe that what I hold now is that which has held me for so long. Let us waste no time, adventurer. When the seal is destroyed, I might walk the forests of the earth freely again. It was the craft of one of the most powerful of the Highborn that created the seal that formed my prison. In Amitharan, the ruins to the south that are twin to these, persists even today an ancient flame, blue in color. In this flame, this seal could be destroyed. Be wary in the ruins, adventurer. We have 470 ammo left. Yo, we got mail, dude. You know what that means? Hopefully. All stuff is selling on the auction house. Car, uh, carving knife of fairy wrath sold. I shoot you. We have one strider meat. Oh, we got two. Nice. I mean, the auction house, they are 20 silver each. Or 11 silver, sorry. 11, 11 silver each, yeah. Which is actually a pretty penny to be honest. We have seven slots available. Be cool if we can skin them. Did 
the red crystal of doom If this series does well, we'll also maybe make, maybe, make a Season of Discovery character. Dude, two stamina, two strength. Holy, bro. That is a, a big maze there. Requires only level 8. We have under 400 ammo now. Which I think is the lowest we've ever been. Our inventory is full now, I think. Since the four slots available, that is our... I think that's our ammo. That's uh, that's empty. It's cloth. We want it. also wants to eat. Scroll of intellect. Uh, we don't need it. To the east you will find the ruins of Ameth Aran. It is now inhabited by the restless spirits of the Highborn that once dwelt within its walls, but once it was a place where the servants of Ajara freely practiced their powerful magics. I was sent to explore the ruins and came across two large tablets scrawled with the stories of Ameth Aran and its fall. 
While I read the runes, I was accosted by the spirits and fled. Please, if you can, venture to the ruins and decipher the tablets in my place. So it's it's sad to know that we went through all that trouble to get our inventory solved and it's still a problem. But yeah, we've been killing a lot of enemies by now. So I guess it makes sense, but it's kind of annoying, dude. that mushroom Slap it like it's hot, slap it like it's hot. Scroll of protection. Where is it though? <laughs> Maybe we didn't pick it up. We have few records from the time around the War of the Ancients, especially near the destruction of the Well of Eternity. Given the upheaval and cataclysmic events that were taking place, it is no big surprise. Thank you, adventurer. With your help, my work here is finished, and I will be able to deliver a full report to the Circle. Hey, we found you. Be lying straight for it because we 
If we don't, someone else will. No, 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 no. Oh, we're going in deep, dude. We're gonna stay here for a while. Oh, that's crazy to me. We actually have to kill them. Fifty ammo left. Whoa, you got us both. Not so fast, son. Oh, you could jump it. I jumped in time, I promise. certain ones get to the other camp
Yeah, I don't need your pie, Sang. Your banana. You can take my banana. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tooth got milk. Well, I guess not anymore. Alden orphaned plus one intel. Oh, there's the scroll of protection. Two hundred and nine ammo left. Where can we vendor stuff? We need vendor. We need vendor. Baby, come back. Why is all faced? Almost forgot to skin you, my buddy. Can we sneaky? Do we only do we, we still only have two out of five strata meat? Goodness, Mabri. Mm. 
Boom headshot. Ooh, thank you, bro. Ancestral gloves. Hopefully we don't do like batch quests like this ever again. This is just like, okay, go out now and you're going to be out for like literally a full hour. I think we need more inventory space again. We still don't have it. We were barely healing him anything. Okay, now it's like, get the shard of meat, get the fang. Not that easy, my buddy. that back anyway.
Yes, I shoot through trees. Don't mind me. There's um cat. Hundred and twenty ammo left. Good news. Soon we're a melee hunter. Can these two not be on top of each other, please? That would be fantastic. A boom a The cat is attacking me. loot the small paw. It's very close to a three pole. It is a three pole. It's okay, I'm tanking one right now. By the way, don't want to channel if if you're being targeted. So as soon as this one, there we go. Dude, we barely heal. Light leather. <laughs> Miss Goosey. All right, this quest is gonna take forever. Two more bears. Thank you. Rotting bear carcasses.
Light leather. Sorry, light feather. <laughs> Close enough, dude. Okay, we got our final bear here. A hundred ammo left. You guys, we're going to actually end this video over here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. And we'll catch you beautiful people in the very next video. Take care. Bye-bye.